It's like about six inches. Beautiful. Well, it's a winter wonderland outside, uh, but the roads really aren't that too bad. Um, the uh, schools are all closed. All the businesses are closed. Everybody is is uh, is uh, uh, asked to stay home. Uh, disaster, floods, pestilence, that that sort of thing. Uh, that being said, uh, being a Yankee, uh, you know, I can drive on wet roads. I, can, I guess, yeah. So, uh, so what we decided that we would do is we would go down to Dallas, and uh, actually we're going to a little suburb of Dallas. Uh, and uh, yes, we are going to bring our uh, razors and our guns. Because there's so much shit in Texas, you're bound to step in some. That's a song. Anyways, um, uh, so we're going to uh, Dallas, a uh, little suburb, and uh, there's a police department there. And they have my father-in-law's pistol and one of my pistols. And this is from uh, the robbery that took place back in 2015. Now, uh, they called me back in 2016 saying they had a whole list of stuff, including one of my guns, because I had uh, presented to the police all the serial numbers of my guns. Incidentally, if you have guns, get the serial numbers, take pictures, get insurance on them, that sort of thing. Uh, and they called me, and so, uh, wow, that's pretty cool. Well, I checked on uh, their list because, you know, they might have another gun. Uh, and inverted a number, so you know it's only what the computer is being fed. So if, if there's a number out of sequence back and forth, it doesn't know it. It only knows on or off. And uh, no other guns were there. But what piqued my interest was this wacky-looking CZ gun. Okay, it's a 7.62 by 25. And I only knew one guy that had one of those, and it was my ex-father-in-law. <laughs> it's his. <laughs> so uh, we're going to. Uh, fight our way and, and claw our way uh, through this icy, terrible, rotten mess. Actually, it's really not bad at all. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, down to uh, down south. Once we get over the Arbuckles, I think probably we should be uh, clean and freer, uh, free once we get down to Ardmore. Probably not going to see any of this. Um, so uh, let's let's get down there and we'll see if I can get my guns. Well, uh, there's the Arbuckle Mountains, and uh, I think if we get on the other side of those, uh, we should be good. The road's been like this all the way, just wet, uh, so we really shouldn't have a problem. Uh, if you're ever in Oklahoma, this is directly in the center of the state, there's a place called Turner Falls. And Turner Falls uh, is uh, fed from Honey Creek, uh, from up on the Arbuckles. And it's a beautiful little uh, park, and you can swim there, and it's very beautiful, clean, clear, blue water. Uh, really nice, really nice. Turner Falls. Okay, let's get on the other side of this, and uh, we'll see what we're like. Got a lot of ice up here. And, uh, a lot of ice on the trees and stuff. But I think when we get on the other side of this, it's going to clear up quite a bit beautiful up here it's like uh, like an ice palace up here okay we're almost to Texas about eight miles and as you can see roads are completely clear there's no nothing down here just get up over the uh, over those mountains and it just cleared up and nothing okay next stop Mansfield police station. Right, well, uh, we're on the street that it's supposed to be at. Let's see if it's here. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Oh, that looks something the like The destination it. is on your right. 1305 East Broad Street. Okay. Arrived. Looks like it. Mansfield Public Safety and 
mods department. Must be it. Okay. <coughs> Yay! I haven't had this in my hands for five years. Yay! Look at that. All right. Let's see if it all goes back together. again. There you go. That's my 22 that it got stolen out of my house many moons ago. And they had it in a bag. I don't remember having it in a bag, but uh, I'll take the bag. That's nice. Kind of nice. Maybe they have a bunch of extra bags and they put them in the bag. And this is my father-in-law's, ex-father-in-law's. Uh, I don't know. I've never, I don't know. It's a CZ762x25, uh, I don't know, don't know anything about that. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, uh, we're just coming out of Fort Worth. Uh, Fort Worth, Dallas, uh, gee, I did this in Houston. You can drive as fast as you want to drive. If you want to drive 100 miles an hour, you can. I mean, well, you can everywhere else, too. But as long as there isn't anybody in your way, you can have it matted right to the floorboard because you will never come across a cop on the side of the road uh, handing out taxes. Never. Never. There's just... Uh, you rarely see uh, a police on the side of the road giving out tickets here. So, you know... It's, it's, it's nutty. It's really weird. And people drive nutty too, though, so, you know, be careful when you go to Fort Worth or Dallas down there. They're nuts. I don't mean to say the people are nuts. People are nice here. But there's some nutty drivers. I mean nutty. No signal. That's a big thing. And, like I said, as fast as they can go. Okay, we're crossing the Red River now, and we are now, ah, in Oklahoma. Ah, uh, just north of the Red River on I-35 is uh, a casino. It's the biggest casino in Oklahoma. Uh, there are over a hundred casinos in Oklahoma. And if you go to this casino, and uh, you 
you know, I don't know, you pay, play, you know, spend 20 or 30 dollars there, you know, on, on slot machines or whatever, and sign up for all their promotions and stuff, and give them their, In two your, miles, take exit three onto Windstar Boulevard. give them your uh, email address and such. They will send you vouchers uh, for a free night stay. Uh, At the left, and turn right towards you. You can uh, there. Shut that off. I know where I'm at. And uh, you can you can you can get uh, free nights here, N not on the weekday, uh, but on the weekend. Or excuse me, not on the weekend, but on the weekday. Uh, yeah, right. And so. Um, what are you doing, mister? Do you have an idea what you're doing? Are you going left, right? Okay. Um, this place is uh, the biggest casino in Oklahoma. And uh, like I said, you can get free, uh, uh, free rooms here. And what are you going to pay for a room, you know, uh, elsewhere? You're going to 70, 70 bucks, something like that for a decent room. Well, you know, you could play that amount of money and you can get a free room here. Anyways, this place is huge and uh, I'll show you it in just a moment. These two are really going fast. Um, this place is uh, huge. It has uh, over several, over 7,000, over 7,000 individual slots, plus it has tape, table games, of course. Uh, all the, the facades are uh, set up to look like uh, Greece, Rome, France, uh, Paris, blah, 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 New York. They have all that theme going on as well inside. And um, it's it's very good. This place is very good at uh, at relieving you of your money if you're not careful. <laughs> but you you can you know for fun, it's it's not too bad. Uh, you have to put a cap on things though because things can get out of hand really easy at a casino. Uh, like I said, these places are designed to take your money. So. probably be in that right there. One time we got uh, a suite which is right on the corner there. Very nice room. Very expensive room. This is a casino tower room, and the casino tower rooms don't have very fancy bathrooms and uh, are just kind of minimalistic rooms, uh, but they are free. <laughs> so there you go. Not bad. It's okay. Well, they're free if you play, you know. We're parked. I think we're on the other side of this. That, that's the pool tower. We're in the casino tower. Those are much nicer rooms. They have a pool tower north and a pool tower south. So there's one here and there's one over on the other side. But this is the older and, and uh, the casino tower is, it's, it's okay, but it's not the greatest. Okay, just returned from Mansfield, Texas, uh, which is really close to Fort Worth, and uh, I, uh, I promptly, uh, when I came through Oklahoma City, I stopped at my ex-father-in-law's house and uh, gave him his pistol back. Uh, the guy who uh, took them down south and had them in a storage locker he came back up into Oklahoma after the police let him go. 
uh, down in Texas. Yeah, I know. And uh, uh, did a couple of felonies in Oklahoma. And uh, so he ended up getting 15 years uh, for these two felonies that he did. And since he's doing the 15 years, uh, Texas doesn't want him uh, because they would rather have Oklahoma pay for him. So this has been something I've been following for five years, <coughs> and, I, and I finally got it back. And uh, so I, I presented uh, my ex-father-in-law, who I haven't seen in uh, 23 years, his pistol. And then I hurried home so I could make, uh, uh, make this video of this. And uh, there she is, right there. My Ruger Single 6 I've had since uh, late teen. And uh, wonderful, wonderful gun. It's a great gun uh, for people who uh, learn. And, and I miss this because uh, I do a lot of teaching with the Scouts. And um, this, is a great, uh, this is a great teaching gun because it's uh, 22 and uh, and it doesn't kick and it's uh, it's not formidable you know it's not it's not some big high powered gun it's got good sights it's pretty accurate and you can have a lot of fun with it uh, it's a good teaching tool um, this is all that was stolen is just this pistol uh, evidently the Mansfield Texas Police Department gave a free bag with every one of these <laughs> no they don't they just gave me a bag and I didn't say anything about it uh, but this particular pistol also has a magnum cylinder and so you can run 22 magnum cartridges through it if it'll go in there there it is so you can run 22 magnum cartridges through this also and uh, so I'm very happy to have this back uh, missed it and uh, it's it's just uh, it's just a great thing knowing that uh, you thwarted one of these one of these rotten criminals who get away and he's been getting away and he's been getting away with stuff and uh, you thwarted him uh, you helped to bring him to justice uh, and, you know and uh, and you got your some of your property back not all your property back but you got some of your property back which is great um, this uh, pistol I bought at a pawn shop and it come with this holster and um, had it forever so there you go it's nice to have you a uh, nice 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 to have you back nice to have you back in the family all right well y'all take care and uh, I hope one day you guys uh, if something like this happens to you you can do the same uh, you got to stick with it though and remember that don't take it into your own hands use the law Use the law, and it works. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.